In this video, we're going to be looking at division using the bus stop method with one and two digit numbers. So the first thing that we look at is uh, 64 divided by two, or we ask that question, how many times would two go into 64? And again, this is um, very reliant on like any division problem. Uh, if they have a strength in multiplication, they can definitely use this to um, figure this problem out. So the first question we could ask is, instead of looking at how many times does two go into 64, we actually go to the first digit here. So how many times does two go into six? And, um, and we can write that that would be three times. Then what we do is we move over to the second number and we ask the question, how many times does two go into four? And that goes in twice. So if you look at how many times does two go into 64, it would be 32 times. Now, if we look at the problem over here, um, we would be um, looking at the same questions of how many times does seven go into 21 or what is 21 divided by seven? But we have to use a little bit of a different method here because if we ask the first question of how many times does 7 go into 2, we can't do that. So what we do is we write a 0 up the top. Then what we do is we, and I like to use this down the bottom to remind me that I then need to join the two numbers together and use it as a whole number. So how many times does 7 go into 21? Okay, and if I know my 7s or my 3 times tables, I know that that goes in 3 times. And there's my answer. So seven goes into 21 three times. The next example I want to show you is um, division with a single digit number um, into a, a double digit number uh, with remainders. So um, what we'd be looking at here is 39 divided by six, or how many times does six go into 39? So we're, when we're working with division, quite often students have strength in multiplication, so we work to that strength as well. Um, so like the previous example, we'd be looking at how many times would six go into three? Now, we wouldn't be able to do that, so we pop a zero up the top. Okay, so what we would be looking at next is how many times, and I put my, my join in there, and you don't have to do that, but how many times does six go into 39? Now, if I use my knowledge of um, my times tables or multiplication, I know that six goes into 36 six times, but I can't go any further. Okay, I can't make it um, six times seven or else I would go over my 39. So I have to go within that 39, which, which would be 36, because six times six is 36. So I'd write my six up there, okay? And then I need to think about what's the difference between 36 and 39, and I know that's three. So I then write a small r and a three, because it goes in six times, six goes into 39 six times with three remainders. So the next example I wanted to show you um, was another bus stop method uh, division. So a double digit divided by a single digit uh, with remainders. So the first step we would look at is we wouldn't um, go with the whole double digit number. We would make it a bit easier by looking at how many times does six go into seven? Okay, or seven divided by six, and that goes in once. So we pop our number, our one up the top here. And then I put my um, remainder from there down the bottom, which now makes that a 19. So the next question I would ask is, how many times does six go into 19? And I know my six or my three times tables. Um, so using that, I know that three times six is 18, and I couldn't take it any further than that, or I'd be well over 19. So I would pop my three up here, and I have a remainder of one. So 13 remainder one.